This is the second part of a series of two videos on Translation Workspace. In the first video, I showed you how to set up resources in the cloud-based interface of Translation Workspace and how to convert documents to be translated to the XLIF format used by Translation Workspace. In the second part, this video, I will show you how to perform the actual translation in the XLIF editor of Translation Workspace. So here we have the document opened. It has the XLZ extension used by Translation Workspace. The XLIF editor only works in Windows and its interface is quite similar to that of uh, Trados Tag Editor or Translator's Workbench. The first segment to be translated is highlighted in yellow and uh, to translate it we can select Translate Open Segment or Alt Home from the menu. Now I have to connect to my account. So now I'm connected to my cloud-based TM, Sunto, and to the resources that I set up as uh, background links. The first segment has two series of tags and I need to copy them so I can insert all of them with this comment and I can insert my translation in the middle. So getting started. Now to move to the next segment, I can either use the menu and that would be close, store and open next segment or alt plus. Unfortunately, I'm not able to use my laptop's keyboard. I tried alt plus, but it doesn't work. So I either have to use the menu or to use the corresponding icon on the toolbar. So I'll use the menu for this one. Now I have no match for the second segment. Again, I have to insert uh, tags. So insert all tags and in the middle, I'll insert my translation buttons and menus. And now I can move to the next segment with this icon here, store, close and open next. Now again, no match. So I have to enter my translation like this. I can move to the next segment. In this uh, segment, the fourth one, I have two glossary terms that have been recognized. They are underlined in the interface. So Paina is uh, press to and Alotus Valico is start menu. In order to copy the first recognized term, I can use this icon here, insert the current term. This is the same as Alt down. So if I press Alt down, the translation of Pina press to will be copied. I can continue to access the. And now the next term, I can select it with Alt right arrow like this. And that will select and copy start menu. Now I can move to the next segment. Here again, I have a term which is recognized, so I can insert it with Alt down and I can enter the rest of my translation. So increase the value or move up in the menu. Now I can move to the next segment. And here I have 100% match as expected since it's the segment that we translated just a short while ago. I can continue Alt down. Here I have a match, 50% match, which actually is not very useful. So I will select everything, Alt A and delete it. And I will enter my translation. So the first term is recognized, Pina, Alt down. And the rest of my translation, access the. And Taos Tavalo, I don't remember the translation in English. So I can use the concordance search feature. Under the translation workspace menu, I have concordance search, which is the same as Alt up arrow. So I'll start it. And now translation workspace, just perform the con concordance search against the background TM that I have on my cloud based account. And I can see that Taos Tavalo seems to be backlight in English. So there is no specific command for copying the word I'm interested in. So I can just use Ctrl C, close the window and then Ctrl V here to insert it. 
If I want to add the term per Tau Stavalo backlight, unfortunately there is no command for that inside the editor. So any new terminology you want to add, you have to do it via the web-based interface. So you have to select the glossary here. You have to go to the search tab and here there is a command create new record. So here I can add the source term I'm interested in. So that's Tau Stavalo. I can press submit. Now it has been added and if I press edit I can select English and enter the corresponding English term which is backlight and again submit. So now I have my new term pair backlight Taustavalo has been inserted. I can go back to the editor and if I close the segment and open it again then the new term pair that I just added, Taustavalo backlight, is now recognized. So it's rather cumbersome if you want to add a lot of terminology as you translate. You cannot do it in the actual translating environment. It's uh, really bad. I'm going to move to the next uh, segment. Here I have a 78% match. I have two differences. Instead of Surenta Accessi, I have now Pienenta Accessi. So instead of uh, increase, I have a decrease in English. And instead of um, Ulospan, I have now Alaspan. So instead of up, I need to put down. Now my translation is OK. I can move to the next segment. And the last segment, I have again a recognized term, Pidepainetuna, that's key press 2. I can copy it with Alt down. I can enter the rest of my translation. And I have a couple of tags that I can insert. And I can enter the rest of my translation in between. So that's shortcut. And close the parentheses. That's it. And now I, if I move to the next segment, I'm at the end, so I can save my document. And in order to generate the English translation of my Word document, I can go to File, Save Target. Now it's warning me that a file with the same name already exists. Do you want to overwrite it? Well, no. So what I have to do is go to my folder, and here I will actually make a copy of this file and change it's named to FI, so I know it's my original finished document. And I will go back to the editor and I will save the target. Now I can overwrite, yes. Okay, and now my target file has been saved. I can check. It should be here. And if I open it, well, it looks okay, so I have uh, everything in English, including the formatting, so for instance, uh, highlighting here. So there you have it, how to translate in Translation Workspace XLIF Editor. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.